in a lot of Paul's letters that he has written in the New Testament, he has introductions that are very personal to the church or the, the, the group of people to whom he is writing. And sometimes we tend to skip over these introductions because we are trying to get into the meat of a passage. But in Philippians, as I'm continuing my chronological Bible journey, there's a very interesting thing in this introduction that we don't want to just skip over. He says in Philippians 1, starting in verse 9, I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. Great. He's praying that their love increases and this is a good thing. But why? For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. Pure meaning unsullied and blameless lives, it actually in the Greek gets back to not leading others astray. So Paul is encouraging them to remain pure and help others along the way as well. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ, for this will bring much glory and praise to God. So back to what Paul is trying to say to them, it boils down to that first verse I read in verse 9, that your love will overflow more and more. What boils down to in our Christian life is that when we send way at the beginning, Adam and Eve, they they broke what we know of as agape love, which is self-sacrificing love. And in agape love, we love God with our totality, the fullness of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we love our neighbor as ourselves. That got broken in the fall. Jesus Christ made all things new. And so as people receive the gift of salvation and move forward in a life that is sanctified by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has restored in us the ability to love God with that totality. And that's what Paul is saying. This is the most important thing. Don't forget about love, the loving God, loving others as you love yourself. Self is included in there because the right relationship with self is important as well. I pray that your love will overflow more and more. May we remember these wise words and not skip over them as we continue to grow in our Christian faith. Blessings on you today.